hello, this is Bruce with TheBloomWorld.com and the video I have for you today is Odie, uh, Garfield and Odie, you know the, the dog on the Garfield movie. This is a picture of him uh, completed, almost completed except for the Sharpie art. Um, that's what he's going to look like. This is a design I originally saw T. Perusik do on YouTube. Um, he does a simpler design for line kind of work. Um, I don't do that kind of work so I have more time to put more detail on these on these things so that's what we're going to make uh, with some additional detail from his design. We're going to start with three yellow 260s blown up to about five inches on the end. Got a white scrap, don't need too much of a white so just a little bit of that. Got a brown scrap, uh, about uh, maybe a foot and a half and then a small piece of red about six inches, six inches long for his tongue and then I got a, a chocolate um, uh, no, it's for him that I made beforehand. Actually, I just pulled it out the other one. All right, so let's get started. You want to make sure these balloons are really soft um, so the pinch twists don't get too um, um, uh, tight on them. So we're going to make three pinch twists to start with. Just like this one. Nice soft pinch twist. About an inch long, about an inch pinch twist. Try to get them all the same size as you can. All right, like that. And then we're going to put his muzzle on. No, that doesn't have to be too big. Okay, and then um, let's just twist the white balloon right into this joint right here. The one we just made with the twist twist in the muzzle. And then um, we'll uh, go up with his eyes. The two balloons together like that. And then take the yellow one and make a small pinch twist at the top. That's what we connect his ears with. And then you want to uh, bring this back down with the two balloons again. Uh, as close to the same size as you can get them. And bring them down here and just twist them right into that, that joint uh, of his mother. Okay? Now, before we straighten it out, let's uh, get rid of the white. Done with that. So now you can hide all those knots and everything later. There's another thing out here front by his eyes. You can put a pinch twist on the side, one on the other side, and one in the back. Okay, keep everything nice and straight. Keep his head tilted forward and keep everything where it should be. Okay, so there's the starting board. He's head like that. Now, um, what we're going to do here is uh, make a little, this is going to be the inside of his mouth, um, just like this come down about oh three or four inches and then make another smaller flower petal because that's going to be the bottom part of his jaw and then behind that you want to put two more pinch twists and they're about an inch pinch twists okay all right and then this build this balloon's used up so we get rid of that and tie it off Okay, and then you're just going to make sure that these, there's a pinch twist on either side of the, uh, the bottom part of his mouth like that. Okay, so that's what we got so far for him. Uh, let's connect in another of the yellow 260s right down here at this joint at the bottom. As always, hide your straps. Um, I'm not going to hide them because it just takes a little bit of time. I could do it at the end, maybe. But. Okay, so hide that, put that in there. And right down here, then make this first leg. You want to make it about maybe six inches, five or six inches long. And then a foot for a flower petal, about a three finger flower petal. A pinch twist right behind that to push the foot forward and stabilize it. And then a small bubble between the feet. Another flower petal for his other foot. So we make it the same size as this one, about three fingers. All right, and a pinch twist behind that. Okay, and then bring the other leg up the other way. Just like that, and then just wind it in right here between these pinch twists. Okay. Just like that. And then this is going to become his body. Okay, clean 
it up just a minute. Okay, and so here's what we've got now. And this will be sticking out of the back for his body. He's got his front legs. Yeah. Put him facing forward like that. And then uh, he's got a pretty short little body. So only about three inches for his body. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is make a little tail for him. Or a pinch twist, I guess. And then put a tail behind that. Okay, and we'll do that in just a second. But for now, let's just leave him like that. And let's connect the other uh, balloon. The other uh, yellow 260 as his joint on the back. And then do his back legs just like we did the front legs. Same length. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Four or five inches long, make his foot. Pinch twist behind it. Bubble in between. Another flower petal. Same size as the other one. Pinch twist behind that. Okay. Like that. And then let's uh, bring the leg up. Same length as the one we did to start with. And just wind that right in here at the base of the legs and the base where you have a tail. Okay. Now we can get rid of both of these. We'll get rid of one of these yellow ones first. And tie it off. Okay, and then the other one. It's just got a little tail. In fact, I think it's brown, but we're not going to put a brown tail on. We'll just put a little yellow tail on it. And we'll leave it hanging a little bit. Okay, so there's what we've got. That's what we have so far. Oh. Straighten his body out a little bit. Like that. Okay? And there he stands there just like that. Just like now. Down here at the base of the uh, of his lower jaw. I'm gonna twist in his tongue. And you might have to be tempted to twist a bit at the top, and I guess you could, but I looked at some of the pictures of Odie and it looks like this comes more. So that's where this extra. Put a little Bend on the end of his tongue, like that. Okay. And he's back to straighten him out. Okay. Straighten him out his legs, like okay. that. All right, now put his nose in. And again, it's just a chocolate brown bubble. A chocolate brown uh, little bubble at the end, like that. And then the last thing you do is put on his ears. His ears aren't too long. I'm going to make a bubble about 80 miles. Connected here right at the top. And you can his point kind of forward. Uh, going the same length. Well, that wasn't the same length. That popped more than I thought. Let's see if I can fix it. I think so. But try a little bit more here. This ear is going to be a little more, going to be thicker than the other one because I had to re-blow it, okay? Won't matter so much with his ears, but he'll do it better when you do it, obviously. Okay, and there's Odie's ears. He's going to twist forward toward the end. Because he, kind of, he has kind of a little bend in his ears, not towards the, the front end, like that. Okay? All right, now, uh, that pretty much is, does is finish him for the twisting parts. Let's make sure you can see that. There's his head. And um, the Sharpie art for him, or the paint pen that I use, what I make them a little more, more a little bit more realistic. I go ahead and make a round out of his eye like this. Do it as smooth. And come around like this. And make a make definition like that in the outside of his eye. Okay? And then all that are just round. Like that in the middle. And I think that really makes for a lot more realistic heading. Um, let's see if I can it so you can see him there. There's Odie with his, with his feet and head and eyes. Like I said, I think, that, I think you can see this makes his eyes look a little bit better. 
All right, and, and uh, thanks again to T. Perusic for the basic line.